How's it going guys, Agent here, and welcome back to some more Fairy Tale. In the last episode, we mostly did a bunch of character stories. We saw Juvia and Grey go on a mission together. Of course, there was a bunch of one-sided flirting with that. Um, we saw Lucy go on a huge scavenger hunt just to get a book. Only God knows what that book is about. <laughs> And we saw Natsu starving and wanting to eat, as always. Um, in this next one, the plan is to get the guild to the top 100 and hopefully start this whole training camp that's supposed to be taking place at the beach. And you know what that means. Watermelons. <laughs> but yeah, let's just hop right back into this and like we said in the last episode, We'll do a request with some sort of plot behind it. So let's come over here, whoops, to the request board. We can do either wolf extermination, requiring Natsu, Grey, and Urza, or whose stuff is this requiring only Lucy? Um, let's, uh, let's do wolf ex- Actually, I don't even know, man. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Oh, uh, well. Looks like uh, we're doing Lucy. Eeny miny, eeny meeny miny mo never fails. Huh? Looks like some of those packages we got back haven't reached their owners yet. I'd like to deliver them since it's part of the request, but there's no addresses, just names. Oh, I know this person, though we met in town, so I don't actually know where they live. Really? Then could you give them their package when you see them next? <laughs> I can't do that. You took the request, so you have to complete it. I'll draw a sketch of them for you. Oh wow. But Mira, your drawings are so ba- I mean, unique. I don't know if... Think it'll help? Uh, do they live at the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> They'll get mad if you say that to them, you know. Here, I'll just show you by transforming. Oh, we know this guy. It's the One Piece looking guy. See? They're human. <laughs> but with the lips of a freaking fish. It, yes, but that's not what I... Never mind. Anyway, I think I'll be able to find them now. Okay. So it's a. Uh, this is considered a rescue request, though. We're not really rescuing anyone. Just their package, really. Oh, I didn't mean to go inside Lucy's house. I think they're gonna put me outside of it. You look like a guy. Dude, look at his nose. It looks like two ball sacks fused. Uh, a delivery for me? I'm sorry, but I'm not expecting anything. Really, you look so similar. I thought it had to be you. If you're looking for someone dressed like me, I saw them near the cathedral. How about trying over there? Thanks for the tip, brother. You are just the guy I'm looking for. A package? No, that's not mine. Sorry, but you've got the wrong person. Okay. Anyway. Let's, uh, wait. It's right here. I don't think we need to, uh, fast travel. Let's grab some water real quick. Alrighty. A delivery? Sorry, but I think you've got the wrong person. They do have similar clothes, but something seems different. Now that you mention it, I passed by someone who looked like me in a west side alley. Oh boy, we got a doppelganger. Wait, in the west side alley? So that's this way. Uh... That's not an alley. In the west side alley? Where's that? Oh, maybe up here? Wait. I'm confused. Wait. If it's not this, then I have no idea. What? 
A barrel? Uh... Okay, yes, it's a barrel, Lucy. What? Is there an attack button? I'm literally pressing everything. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop saying that. That is a sketchy barrel. What is that for? West Side Alley. Alright, if it's not here... Then I have no idea where else to go. Okay, um... Yikes. We are... Wait, there might be one more spot. And then... I have no idea where to go next. Right here. Wait, we were here. Dang it! I'm going insane. I don't even know anymore. Oh, how'd I miss this? Oh, it's definitely you. Wow! Th thank you so much! When I heard that the mail card had been attacked, I gave up on ever seeing this again. Thank goodness. Is it something important? No, not really. Just something my father sends me. He's been worried about me ever since I left home, you see. I'm sure he'd worry even more if I never got it. So, I guess, at least to me, it is something pretty important. Wow, way to bring up the daddy issues again, bro. Is that so? I'm glad you were able to get it then. All done. Let's report back. Wow. Lucy didn't even, uh... Wasn't even phased. All done with that request? Hell yeah. Give me the money. Nice. Oh, we're in 98th place. We are a C rank guild now. No longer D for doo doo. Mavis. Tee hee. Congratulations, everyone. I'm so relieved it feels like we've really got this guild moving again. I wouldn't quite call us a commendable guild just yet, but I am very excited to see what lies in store for us. But C guild, we're a C rank guild. C stands for commendable. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that was the founder of Fairy Tale, by the way, Mavis. She's super old, but she looks young as hell. Logic. Alright, we got a bunch of charms. Uh, okay, we still have stuff to do for, okay. Wait, what do they want us to do? Why'd they bring this up? I mean, what we can do, recommended equipment. Oh, that raises Natsu's attack by 30. All right, what about Urza? What did it do? Okay, just kept the wizard lacrima. I'll keep the protection on Lucy. It's probably gonna change it because RPGs still, just, like don't care about your defense at all for some reason they just go full attack uh all right we're in the top 100 or to the master what's up master you've all been doing your best now it's my turn I'll give you brats my best magic my extreme magic whoa that sounds awesome you're not young anymore old man just Take it easy. Loxus. I'm not that old yet. How about I prove it to you? Oh boy. Yo, granddad versus grandson? I don't have to hold back, do I? Bring it on. Oh, he's attacking us! Wait, what? Oh, I thought he was attacking us! I was like, what are you gang up on us for no reason for? Ha, huh, how'd you like that? My magic's gonna save y'all. But I can't save you all the time. Protect yourselves too. When you take damage during battle, you have a chance of triggering an extreme magic rescue. This chance goes up the more trouble you are in. However, I can also help you with your attacks. My attack is powerful, but it leaves me wide open, so you'll have to make me an opportunity with your chain. Oh, so it's like... An even stronger finisher. Oh, 
So let's draw this out. Extreme Magic Finisher! Oh shit! Damn, that didn't even kill Loxus. He look he tanked that. So, what do you think of my extreme magic? That hurt. You didn't hold anything back either, huh? Haha! <laughs> you need to train some more, Loxus. When using Magic Chain, there is a chance that you will be able to activate an extreme magic finisher in place of a regular one. Alright, pretty cool. So that's extreme magic for you, just think of it as a reward for all your hard work, get our guild rank up, and you might find others will help you. Okay cool, so we can have more people help us out in battle with their extreme magic. Yeah, there's uh, extreme magic finishers and rescues. We're ready for the next step, training camp starts tomorrow. Hey, let's go! Uh oh, these knuckleheads are going at it again. Give it a rest, you fire hazard. <laughs> what did you just call me, you pervert? You wanna go? They're fighting again. I wonder what it's about this time. Well, someone brought up who would be best suited to represent Fairy Tale at the games, and they started fighting. Some things never change. Bring it on! Let's settle this right here, right now. I'd love to. Wait, you two. The guild has already taken enough of a beating. But Gramps... Shut up and listen. If you must fight, there'll have to be some rules. What kind of rules? You'll have to agree on them, then pick a location. A duel, except you won't be killing each other. A duel, huh? I'm getting kinda fired up. <laughs> Good. It's a good way for allies to train with each other so long as you can follow the rules. Yes. Alright, come on, Gray. We're dueling right now. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Get ready. <clears throat> Just follow the rules, okay? Okay, our first duel. That's, uh, that's what they meant by duel. Dueling is now available. You can participate in duels with members in your base in a 1v1 style battle. You will receive a reward the first time you achieve victory. You can particip participate in duels as many times as you want. We haven't even left yet, and I'm already tired. <sighs> Are we gonna have a duel? The location of the training camp is... Wow! Akane Beach. It's just past Boundary Forest. Let's get going. You can now go to Akane Beach. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. There's no way it's a cane beach. Akane. Oh, we have to... Hold on. Whoops, not what I meant. What is happening? I just want to check out these requests. Oh, they're not requests. These are, uh... Oh, okay. It's conversations with Natsu and Lucy since, uh... The three of us have been bonding over these, uh, requests. It's fun being over at Lucy's house, isn't it? She's got a bunch of stuff. Wait, that's not what I meant. I talked to Happy instead of Natsu. Hey Urza, taking a job? Indeed, I found the perfect one. That's an S-Class request. I bet it would be so much fun. Can I come? I don't believe this request is quite appropriate for you. Not only does it require a cool head, but also the ability to work meticulously. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that this request involves infiltration and secrecy. Not exactly your strong suits. That's not true. You're making it sound like I'm some big, dumb, loud guy. <laughs> well... Just take me with you already. You... Uh... Did she just beat him? Yep. Sounds like Urza. Huh? Where'd Urza go? She went out on that job while you were sleeping. What? what? No, Urza! That's funny. Okay, rank up. Looks like uh, max bond is 3. 
Alright, our chain rate went up. Cool. How does this work? If we're not to... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's talk to Lucy now before we head out to the beach. Urza, why don't we go out for tea together for from time to time? I know the perfect place. It's a cafe with a delicious cheese souffle. I didn't know there was a some wait, I didn't know there was somewhere like that. It's tucked away down a little alley. I'll let you in on its location. That sounds great. Oh yeah. I want to look at some clothes before we go. Mind coming with me? Not at all. I was just thinking about buying some myself. I know a good store. Would you like me to take you? You have a favorite clothing store? That's a little surprising. What's it like? I've been going there for years. They have some incredibly talented artisans. Not only do they have superb armor in stock, but they'll make anything I order to perfection. Uh, armor? Is that what you want to buy? Of course. There's one piece I simply must have. I was talking about regular clothes, you know? The one made from fabric. That's cute. They generally, uh, get along pretty well. Unlike, uh, Urza and Natsu's little interaction. Um, what is happening? Alright, we got a Lacrima recipe. Uh, we got a bunch of rewards. Jesus. I guess we completed all the D rank, uh, like, goals or whatever. But anyway, let's uh, head out, go into Boundary Forest. Check out the beach. Probably have to, like, move through the forest, defeating enemies and stuff to get to the beach. Kind of beach should be a little further in. Roger that. Alright, let's uh, quickly take these guys out of the way. Alright, cool. They're lined up perfectly behind each other like that. We can do this. And the Natsu should have a move. Awesome. Fire Dragon Sword Horn! Awesome. Okay. Cool. Let's head around here and just see what's up. Oh, hey, it's Kana. I'm gonna train with Mira and the others. Cool. It's cool seeing them in other places besides the guild. Alright, not going there. There's a freaking golem there. Picking up some rocks and stuff. Oh, there's a chest here. A thousand jewels. Cool, cool. That'll come in handy. A bunch of plain prunes and, uh, yeah, plain prunes. Alright. Should just be up this way, past this little guy. Awesome. Alright. Dang. Cool, cool. Um, let's just go with this. Cool. Easy clap. Alright, let's go. To the beach. Oh, they're all around here, all the members. That's pretty cool. Kane Beach is now unlocked. Awesome. Ooh. Looking like paradise. Super pretty. Yay, the beach! So this is where we're training? Lucy, you still haven't changed? Oh boy. 
The watermelons are out, boys. The fruit stand is full. You've already changed? What happened to training? I haven't forgotten. Finding balance is important. Play hard, eat hard, sleep hard. I feel like we're missing the point of training here. We only have three months. Oh boy. Alright. Hey, you didn't come here to play around. Oh, Natsu. There's some big fish over there. Perfect timing. We can train by dealing with them. Wait, what? We're gonna fight big fish? Does everyone get a... Oh wow, it's literally Jess Urza. Wait, you're the guy who tried ripping us off. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. Okay, I mean... Sure. I'll give it to you. But I still hate you. Thanks, you really saved my bacon. Screw your bacon. Alright. Dang, or is this the one getting all the costumes here? Uh, let's see. Are there any new items? Or are they all just... Yeah, they're either prunes, rocks, water, or chrysanthemums, or whatever they're called. Chrysanthus. Wow, these things are ugly. Okay. Let's, uh, put them out of their misery. They look like they want this. Whoa, they're tanky. They're actually pretty freaking tanky. Let's just, uh, go with this. Ooh. Dang. That did a lot. Hopefully this takes out the one in the front. Okay, cool. Whirling Tide. What the heck? That did a decent amount. I think one of us is frozen, too. Uh... Yeah, this is awkward. Let's just... Lucy Kika! And then, we just nuke this guy. Tackle? Ow, bro. Fire Dragon Iron Fist! Alright, cool. Nice, we got a, a lot of XP from that guy. Whoa! We have to take out three groups of enemies. Alright, we'll definitely level up a lot by doing this. It's, it's, it's like we're actually training on the beach. Alright. Gat and Lucy not doing too much. I mean... Kind of makes sense, right? Because, uh... Let's do this one. Because Natsu and uh, Urza are the ones with the lacrima that makes them stronger, not Lucy. Heaven's Wheel Circle Sword! Just the sound of that move is OP. Oh boy. Let's uh, just take this time to heal Lucy up. The other two that can uh, finish him off. Oh, I did barrier, not heal. I'm such a noob. Alright. Wait, whoa. Okay. This should finish him off. Nice. Awesome. Decayed scale. Yeah, that's a new type of uh, drop. Yeah. Alright, this time around we actually have to heal with Lucy. Actually? Nah. We just chain him. Oh, they're done for. Awesome. Heaven's Wheel. What the heck did she say? Bloom... Bloomblot? Jesus. Destroyed him in a bikini. Magic chain. I wonder what that trophy is for. It's not like that was our first magic chain ever. We got Photon Slicer, more Decayed Scales. Alright, cool. What is next? Oh, that's the end of the episode. Interesting. Alright, we need two more pieces of the puzzle to complete this, uh... Oh boy. 
to complete this episode. I mean chapter. Good Lady Lucy. Feel the earth, the wind, the energy, all around you. Become one with nature. Ugh, it hurts. Your mother trained her celestial spirit magic in the same way. Hey, have you ever heard of the primordial magic? I believe it is the magic from which all magic originates. That's what Hades said, and that he wanted it. I heard about it from my mother once, but she didn't mention Zeref for the grand magic world. She said that it seems like it's everywhere, but it's also really rare. And that it's strong enough to fell any enemy, but fragile too. It's just one huge orthodox. She said that uh, all magic comes from love. So I think that the primordial magic is love itself. Ah, indeed. That totally makes sense. I think that is a wonderful interpretation. Maybe Hades wouldn't have turned to the darkness if he thought about it that way. Harder! I saw! Harder! Harder! What are you talking about exactly? <laughs> I'll shut down anyone who doesn't take us seriously. We'll show them all how strong we are. Princess, bad news. Virgo? What is it all of a sudden? So the spirits were stuck in the spirit world the entire time Lucy was in the fairy sphere? How awful. And it's all Lucy's fault. <laughs> no, that is not really an issue. The celestial spirit world is on the verge of collapse. Please, help us. What? The king is waiting. I was told to bring everyone to him. Leave it to us. Anything for a friend. You may travel to the spirit world so long as you wear celestial spirit clothes. Let us go. Okay. Do we have clothes like that? I guess we do. This is the spirit world. It's so pretty. Damn. Well met, mine old friends. So you are... He's huge. What a mustache. The Celestial Spirit King. So you are the so-called king of this world. So... Impolite. Verily. Verily? Verily. <laughs> we heard the spirit world was on the verge of collapse. Lucy and friends. A celebration of thy return. With a banquet. Huh? What about the world collapsing? A lie. Teehee. Hey! We came up with the idea to celebrate your return all by ourselves, Lady Lucy. Were you surprised? It's just this once, okay? <laughs> ah, so that's what it was. You scared us. Hey, everyone. It's been a while. Now come to me. Lucy. Jeez. Eat, drink, and be merry. A banquet for mine old friends. <laughs> I guess everyone... everyone's having fun. Natsu and Grey laughing and stuff, just... 
just uh just earlier they wanted to kick each other's asses and Lucy's just over here crying thanks everyone you're the best we wish thee success my friends may the stars guide and protect thee the celestial spirits care much for you they're the best friends I could ever ask for. I forgot to mention, the flow of time is slower in the celestial spirit world. So one year there is a day in the human world or something? Like one of those fancy time chambers. The opposite. One day in the spirit world is equal to three months in the human world. Oh my god. It's already time to go for the tournament. <laughs> Give us back our time, you dumb mustache, mustache man. Mustache man. Jesus Christ, I can't read. We still have time. Five days of hard training. Get ready, everyone. No sleeping allowed, huh? The pigeon on Urza's head has something on its foot. A note. Let me see. Dear Fairy Tale, come to the broken bridge on the hill. Well, that's sketchy. Uh, they didn't even say please. What should we do? What if it's a trap? We won't know unless we go. Come. Alright, episode 2. Crime Sorcerer? Sorcery? I don't know. The day... The games that once felt so far away are now in just a few days. Fairy Tale has received a note from a person or persons unknown had to the location with it written on it. Go to the suspension bridge. Is that close? Apparently it's like... Right here, right? Let's just uh, check out who this is, and then I think that'll be a good place to stop. There's no one here. I guess it was just a prank. What the? Whoa. The bridge is fixed? Evidently, we're supposed to cross it. We, we could turn back? I have no idea who's doing all of this, but let's go find out. Alright. A little journey. Cross over the suspension bridge. Alright. Um... Let's just take this guy out real quick. Whoa, there's three of them. Vigor. Attack up. Oh god. Whenever they hit us, it's gonna freaking hurt. Yeah, these guys look, uh... They don't look like jokes. Lizard man? Alright. We can do... Hmm. Let's just go with this. Cool, cool. Alright, Natsu. Okay. Yikes! We, we might die, we might die. Oh my god, Lucy's dead, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we don't have a res. We just gotta... Unless this works, okay. Yup, this this is not looking good. Not looking good. Um, Latsu and Luce, I mean Urza should be able to finish this up though. Oh gosh, he's poisoned. This guy's gonna get a hit, and hopefully he doesn't wipe us. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh shoot. Alright, Lucy's probably not going to get any XP from this battle. Oh, she still does! This 
game is really forgiving. Now the question is, how do we heal up fully? Uh, sure. Take my decayed scales. Alright. Whoa, that's crazy. Hold on. Um... This is very awkward. I don't think- they're, they're, they never really told us a way where we can kind of like just rest and um, replenish all our HP. So... Yeah, this is very awkward. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Let's just... Good thing we bought a bunch of small salves. Let's get everyone to at least half, and then Lucy can like heal us up next time we fight or something. Let's go forward and do like one more battle. Oh gosh, I'm afraid of these freaking lizard men now. Oh shoot, I was trying to get a preemptive strike on him. Forget that. Alright, this is, uh... This is gonna be, uh... Really iffy. Oh, they're weak to this! Alright, maybe we should risk doing this. Scorpio! Oh, this is the first time we used him. Oh, that didn't even do that much even though they were weak to it. Super awkward. Alright, um... Let's do this. Oh man, I was hoping she could take out some of the people in the front line. Okay, good. They, they decided to do, um, like single. Single target moves. We should, we should be okay. Alright. Now... We can just take this guy out. If anything, he'll be attacking Urza and she should be able to survive a hit. Urza? I mean, Urza and Natsu are still poisoned from last fight? Or was that just from this fight? I can't remember. Whoa, okay, we might actually have to grind a bit. Off camera. Alright. Um... Screw it. Let's just try to make it to the, um, the objective. Oh, yeah, definitely doing this. Watch this not even kill them. That would be so sad. Nah, I think it will, it will. Especially with the Natsu's chain. Awesome. Yeah, it's called Blumenblatt. Get owned! Alright, cool. Alright, um... We're pretty much here. Let's just take this guy out, because why not? We need to grind, apparently. Uh, alright. Take this opportunity to heal. Wait, I did it again! Okay, no, I healed, okay. I heard the ding dong and I thought I put barrier on Urza, not heal her. Uh, this is awkward. Let's just do this. Cool, okay. These guys aren't so tanky anymore after taking on those lizard men. Nice, okay. Whirling Tide shouldn't be a problem. Whoa! I take that back, that kind of effing hurt. Moon Flash. Let's get a... I want to get a heal in with uh, Lucy. 
on herself at least. It's not looking good for uh, Natsu. Okay, cool. Uh, I kind of want to stall this out a bit just to heal Natsu up. What happened to that guy though? He never attacked until now. I'll take it though. Alright, cool. This guy is a uh, fish food next turn. Be gone. Alright, we're finally back up to full HP, kinda. Definitely have to buy some more heals when we get back to the guild. Someone's here. Careful, everyone. Oh shoot. Yeah, there's like some robe guys over there. Alright. Don't mind me, just uh looting. Oh now you gotta revive, okay. But it still doesn't matter, it's not like uh Oh it's Jalal. This is uh Urza's lover boy pretty much. Thank you for coming. Fairy tale. Jalal. You haven't changed, Urza. You've already heard word of my escape? I have. I hadn't planned on it, though. Meridi and I broke him out. I didn't do anything. It was really mostly old here. Meridi? Juvia? It's been a while. These guys are from Grimoire. Wait, you're not here to fight us, are you? No. I can never expect to make up for all of the sins I've committed in my life. So, I at least want to help those whose lives I've ruined. Such as Jalal. No need. We were both enamored with the darkness. But that is in the past now. Edge Lords. Jalal, your memories are back. I remember everything clearly. All of my memories returned to me when I was in jail six years ago. Urza, I don't know what to say. I am responsible for everything that happened in the Tower of Heaven. Jalal was under my control. Please don't blame him. I had resigned myself to death during my imprisonment. That is, until Ultir and Meridi broke me out, of course. Does that mean you found a reason to live? A reason to live? Nothing as lofty as that. We created a guild. Not a legal guild, or a dark guild, but an independent one. Crime Sorcier. We have a single goal. Zerif and the Dark Guilds. We are a guild that will clear the darkness from this world. So that no more wizards will be taken by the darkness as we were. Reformed? That sounds great! The council should just recognize you as a legal guild. I am a fugitive, you know. And we were a part of Grimoire Heart. But we didn't call you here just to introduce ourselves. You're going to appear in the Grand Magic Games, right? We have something to ask of you. We have felt unusual magic every year during the games. We want you to find out what it is. The magic feels like Zerif. It is possible we are the only ones who recognize it because we were close to him. Zerif. We need you to uncover its origin. It might give us a clue to Zerif's location. Of course, that's for when you're not fighting in the games. We'll be rooting for Fairy Tale. We'd like you to look into it between fights. Sounds like a fool's errand, but we should try. Are you sure, Urza? 
Strange magic at the place where all the guilds in Fior will be gathering? It's worrying. We will be paying you in advance. Food money! Rent money! No, not in jewels. I will strengthen you with my improved Arc of Time. Huh? Just think of it as a power-up, although in reality, it's a bit different. Within every wizard is something like a container that decides the limits of their magic. Even if that container were to become empty, it will be refilled through our body's natural absorption of ether nano from the atmosphere. But according to recent research, these containers have another part to them, rarely used. Everyone has the potential to access this, the second origin. My arc of time will allow you to use it. Basically, you will be able to fight for longer and with stronger magic. Awesome! I don't get it. However, the process is unbelievably painful. Yikes. Oh. Her eyes are scary. I'm okay with that. It can't be that bad. <laughs> of course. That anime science did not understand that. Gray, I haven't seen you since Tenru Island. Though to you, I suppose it has only been a few days. You've changed a lot in seven years. Yes, I've decided to acknowledge my sins. Acknowledge them? I was abandoned by my mother and sent to the Bureau of Magical Development. Then she took you and Lion. Uh, uh, on as disciples. So I decided to take my revenge on her. I met Hades and studied the Ark of Time. I was told that if Zeref awakened and brought the Grand Magic World, the Ark would bring back my happiness. I heard too many people trying to change my cursed life into a happy one. But despite all that, you're not an evil person. Maybe, but the things I've done can't be forgiven. If I could make up for anything by bearing these sins, then... Isn't that enough? Huh? Isn't it better to live working toward that goal than to live like you're already dead? That was deep. Alright. These are the suspicious people. Next objective, show Jalal your newfound power. Oh, are we gonna fight Jalal? That might actually be pretty hard. We're out here struggling with these ugly things and the lizard men. But yeah, apparently we unlocked our second origin. Uh, looking forward to seeing... What that actually does for us from a gameplay standpoint. Do we get more moves? Are we actually more powerful? Are we going to fight Jalal? All questions that will be answered in the next episode. <laughs> but uh, yeah. This was a good one. A um, couple of cute bond conversations. The guild is in the top 100 now. We saw some watermelons. Got our ass kicked a little bit. But we came back. And uh, a lot of plot. So, you know, a little bit of everything. And uh, hopefully the next episode is the same. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs if you liked it. Sub if you're new. Comment if you want me to talk with you. I'm Agent. You're awesome. Those are facts. And I'll be back in the next one. Peace.